you're going to walk away if you're going to emancipate it. Look, like I said, I, I'm sure, I, I like when I can say I'm just 20, I'm 28, but now I'm fucking 29. I'm not telling how I feel about that today. Uh, but look, I'm just turned 29. And I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm fresh in the fight game. So I'm going nowhere for a long time. This is, that's what I'm saying. He keeps saying about the Dana White stuff and the money and it's me and you making money. When he was 28, 29, he wasn't making, he wasn't even close to this. He was on the card. I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? My promotion is on the fucking poster. Do you know what I mean? McGregor Sports, it, these are things that, there's no comparison when you're talking about stuff like that. And then you're talking about who's, how much he's worth and all this type of shit. Quadruple my net worth here. <laughs> you know what I mean? For one fight, and it's half. It just uh, no one's kicking, no one's grabbing me, no one's trying to pull me arm off my body. This is this is this is great. This is handy. Can I just ask, can I just ask you? So many of the fighters in your industry are so pleased and proud with what you've done. You know, you'll have read a lot of the comments that they're making about you. What does it mean to you? to have shifted the paradigm, if you like, for so many mixed martial artists where you've t taken yourself to this projection. Mm. And Dana White earlier speaking to us said, no, no, we're gonna get him back. You wait till you see what we offer him. What does that mean to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Fellow professions, and then to have the UFC treat you like no one let's, let's, let's go back like two years. Mm. There was like, there was never even a speak on money. There was never even like, they weren't make, the UFC fighters weren't making nothing. I mean, before I fought Nate the first time, he was on 20,000 to fight and 20,000 to win. So 40,000. If he lost, he'd make $20,000. Tax that, whatever you tax that, totally, totally. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's a guy that's, at that time, 19 fights in the UFC. I'm very, like, I know I have feuds with all of them, and I know I go at them, and they are all bums, let's be real. And, and some of them do deserve to be on that type of wage. Anyway, in my opinion. But when it's all said and done, I've certainly raised the bar, and, and, and it's not even, even, even forget that, even the, the average person, like I said the night, four years ago, HMV4 on my fault. That's, I don't even know where that is from here. Kentish Town. Kentish Town, five, about 500 people, four years ago. Just because that, this arena is full for a press conference. So, never mind the motivating in the UFC fighters and raising that bar, y y humans. You know what I mean? People just on their own journey that anything can be achieved and it can be achieved like that. You know what I mean? If you put the head down, if you walk and you believe in yourself and, and you speak with confidence and whatever you want to do, you speak it loud with no fear and no matter what people say, it happens. So that's, that's, that's something that I can take with me and, and that being able to do that actually inspires and motivates me right back. So. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. I appreciate it.